Podcast working on promo. Debo got the shit in the show code. Every month I got a different damn necklace. I seen a lot of shit, but never been no witness. My dog never yeah, 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 yeah. And I just smirk when he told me that you was next, bitch. In the world full of killers, I'm the High quietest. Society Podcast, man. I'm your host, B. High. Uh-huh. Got my co-host, co-host in here with me. What's que- your name, sir? Queasy. Queasy's way on the Instagram, but y'all know it's Greg Queasy. Man, turn your t- turn your volume down, man. We got we got a savage in here today, my boy. Special oh, guest speaks. host in here, my boy. Special <laughs> guest host in here, yeah. my boy. Oh, cool. What's up, cool? What's up, baby? What's, yo, oh, why you on your phone? What's going on over there? What's going on? You all right? Yeah. Yeah, man. Anyway, anyway, what's going on, fellas? Queasy, how was your week, man? <laughs> it was a it was a it was a crazy week, man. It was a crazy week, but. I'm always grateful for that thing because I'm still here. Yeah, facts, facts. Right. So, um, we had a loss right. last week, right? What day like was it? Thursday, Friday. Wednesday. Oh, yeah, probably Friday. Friday, my man Nut. Right. Nut G. Nut G, man. North Fork's greatest, man. North Fork's greatest. He passed away due to um, gun violence, yeah. which is a unfortunate situation. And, um... I wanted to dedicate this show to him. Right. You know what I mean? He was not only a friend, but a family member. Facts. You know what I mean? And, um, I think it's just unfortunate how stuff like that happens too often, you know what I mean? And, and I, you know what I mean? We don't deal with trauma, I think. Like, like, how do you deal with trauma? Oh, how you deal with trauma? Like, from your friends, seeing friends go to jail and friends dying through the do do the gun violence and stuff like how do you deal with that man, you know what's so crazy though bro we were just talking about this shit the other day <coughs> you get me yeah, hey you go ahead, you go no i said i said it's crazy because you know we were just talking about this shit the other day like you know it only it only hit you when it hit home no nah, what facts i was thinking that because you know it'd be like the norm yeah no shit regular no shit growing up in no that day like oh this one died that one died he'd be like oh shit Turn the game back on, like, you only can. But when I said your people, you be like, damn, son. That's what I'm saying. Like, when when, when I got the news, when I, when I heard that um he passed away, when not, I was thinking, like, damn, I got probably 30 minutes to mourn a friend of mine. Then I got to get right back to my life. Like, yeah, it's, it's regular stuff, man. It's regular day and up, man. But, you know, shout out to his mother. Shout out to Habiba. I shout out to his little brother, Ayad, and everybody that really love my boy, man. Shout out to everybody, man. He gonna be missed and shit. Yeah, he will be missed, man. Right. Definitely a Central War legend, man. Rest in peace, nut. Right. But um, now that we got that out the way, let's get into some of these topics for the day, man. What's going on, though? Oh? What you want to talk about? You tell me what you want to talk about. Hey, baby, I'm here to feed off of y'all, man. It's my first time. I want to hear what y'all talk about. You know what I mean? So piggyback up off y'all. You know, now, we can talk about um Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got something good for you though. Yeah, I got man, something good for you. Man, talk about your man. Who? Troy Ave? No, nah, negative. Oh yeah, Troy Ave. Your yeah, man Takashi. No, nah, we we talked about <laughs> him. He he already he already in the snitching hall of fame, as we already already um well, let's talk about this agreed. lady that got the ten years then. Oh yeah, we, Amber we, Geiger. That's definitely that's good a good one. Yeah. That's a good yeah, one. That's so, definitely a good one right there. She um she walked into somebody's apartment. I guess she was drunk. Was she drunk? She nah, I think she sent- was just coming off work and like um, she was, she was texting with- some some married dude she worked with that she's about to fuck or whatever. Supposed to have come over to the house or some shit. And without paying attention, I guess she walked in the wrong apartment and shit like that. But now that could happen. Uh, Hell no, you walk in the wrong apartment. That could happen. It happened to me before. I did it before. What you was off. Nothing. I was a kid. See, this was what happened. She a grown woman. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I was a kid, and I walked into the wrong apartment. I thought it was my aunt's house. She sent me there. Just so happened the door was open. Mm. So when I walked in there, I'm like, damn, this shit look a little different. I saw somebody sleep on the couch. I'm like, oh, it's not supposed to be Take nobody sleeping. <laughs> you feel me? Luckily, they were asleep. And I, then I just walked out, closed the door back. But 
she done shot somebody, though. Like, he was on the on his couch eating ice cream and shit. That's crazy, man. Your own crib. Like, you think you safe? You know, you be outside running around. Like, man, I hope I just make it happy as hell. I make it back in the house. Now, now you in the house and shit. You just. Yeah, like, he's your own in the house shit, like, watching TV eating ice cream. Like, he's supposed to be the safest right there. Like, somebody <coughs> walking to your joint and just let off some shots. Like, that's crazy. All right. Then she only got 10 years, right? Yeah, and then look, eligible for parole after five. What's what's my man yeah. that um that got killed? He killed the cop dog or something like that. Got forty five years and shit, but she get ten years for killing a dude and sitting in his own crib and shit like. Well, yeah, this is America. We, they love dogs. America loves dogs more than human beings anyway. Uh, it's really because it's supposed to be a cop dog, quote unquote. They say it's a fucking dog. dog. Man, this is a human being <laughs> sitting in his own <laughs> house. Like I don't give a fuck. It's a cop dog. Nah, it's a fucking dog to be. Alright. That shit eat dog food, right? All right. But she only got 10 years. Like, how you feel about her getting 10 years? That's crazy. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. That's 10 more than I expected, though. I ain't going to hold you. I, ain't, yeah. I, I, ain't, I, mean, I mean, that shit don't really happen like that, though. Like, I mean, it's about definitely 10 more than I expected that shit. Sometimes it do, though. Sometimes cops, they burn cops. I don't know, like, how they pick and choose who to, who to burn and who not to. Uh, but I've seen a few instances where they, where they burnt some cops for doing some stuff. So I'm like, you ever heard about the cop? He was uh, sexually harassing like middle-aged black women. Oh, like a Chinese dude or something, yeah, right? Yeah, I yeah, forgot yeah, his yeah. name. He got he like was... 400 years and shit. I forgot his name though. Um... Marv, you think you can look him up for me? He um, he was, what he was, he was sexually assaulting middle-aged black women, and they gave him, they they gave him the life. They gave right. him life. I ain't sure how many years, but we gonna pull that up. I think he got like four hundred joints, something like something that. Like, like that. some crazy junk. Like what that. year this was? This was um, this was recently. How do they choose who to do it to though? Like, I might gonna fight the bullet though. Yeah, they, they, you know they gonna they gonna sacrifice a couple of sacrificial pawns to make it seem like they trying it though. Like you feel me? They're like nobody like him anyway. I mean, you ain't really one. <laughs> he probably he like, was he a take new, that forty years. Or whatever. He was a new. Uh, he probably was a new cop. He wasn't that. Um, he wasn't on the job that long. They probably just sacrificed him, man. That's crazy. But I want to know, how do y'all feel about the whole Star Brim and Nori situation? Because <clears throat> just to give you a backstory, Star Brim is a uh, star tender? Nah. She's she, like a bartender? She Cardi B friend, but what, I, what do she do? I, I think she like, oh, she Hold on, right too, here. Man. Oklahoma City cops sentenced to 263 years in prison. What's his name? Uh, Daniel... Holtz Claw, yeah. Daniel, yeah. Daniel Holtz Claw, yeah. That's him right there. They burnt him. He only liked that, like black women too, like it was some crazy junk. Yeah, middle age. They was like fifty years old. Yeah. See, fifty-seven year old grandmother. Yeah. Ah, four hundred years. Yeah, fuck him though. He's he's a creep. Yeah, that guy, boy. But um. Anyway, yeah, Star Brim is a um, it's Cardi B's best friend. She was on a couple videos. She was in a couple videos with her. She got a podcast too. She I got think. a podcast yeah. now, but she she's a friend of Taxstone. Right. Now, everybody know what happened between Troy Ave and Taxstone. Fast forward now, Nori. Hold on, rewind again. Nori and Taxstone. Taxstone helped Nori get a podcast. He the one who put the. The battery in his back to start a podcast, right, allegedly. Right. Who right. tax on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. he, he kind of like he keep it on it. He kind of like the, the first one to pop off on the podcast. And if you, if you ask me, I ain't really see nobody. That yeah, was, I ain't really, really heard. I ain't like really that. hear podcasts, especially like people in the hip hop community doing it before I saw um, Tax Stone doing it. And to be honest with you, it's like his shit blew up after he caught that little after that Troy Ave case. He like he blew up. Like I was fucking with it. Yeah, I was fucking with it. He, 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 he didn't have a lot of um. A lot of video. He had a lot of audio ones. That's in the beginning before they was really doing video like that. Yeah. But she's a friend of, of Taxstone, and she feels like Nori's supposed to be loyal to Taxstone and not do an interview with with um Troy Ave. Now, how do you feel about that when it comes to enemies and friends? Like, do you feel like your friend should not work with an enemy of yours in, in no capacity, even if it's business? No, what's an enemy? An enemy. What's an op? Always an op. But I'm saying, like, I, you, you a friend of mine. If if one of your enemies was a ra rapper, like this is your real enemy, y'all had real problems in the street. 
like people got hurt, and I do, and I interview him. And you, my man. Uh, but he not his no, man. No, I'm like not that. your he man. Not, right, yeah. right. I'm not your man. But you, you, you helped me get this podcast. No, you gave me the idea. I you gave say me you the idea me. Yeah. To, to start a podcast. You told me to start a podcast. And to that, she feel like I owe. So she feel like I owe you loyalty. loyalty. Yeah. And I do an interview with 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 the um with your enemy. How would you feel about that? Nigga, you cross him. You think I, so? Hell yeah. I disagree. Because if, if it wasn't for me giving you that all day, you wouldn't be uh, uh, talking to your man. Look, I'm, I'm going to say this, though. Like, we, we from Newark, right? Yeah. That's like, we we, we, we know somebody from Jersey City that's uh that's like, oh, damn, bro, y'all doing a podcast. Y'all can do this podcast. We get money like this. We're like, oh, all right, cool. We can do it like this. We Man, we cool for that. We ain't got no problem with each other now like that. I appreciate it. But at the same time, like, this is how you... I'm not, I don't know you like that. Like so to be, be stopping my business or something, that's a good business move for me, a good business uh decision for me. It's, yeah. That don't make no sense. Like, cause you wouldn't do that for me. If say he, he we end up stop interviewing somebody he liked though, uh just cause I don't like him. Like that shit don't make no sense. Like And on, on top of that, I I thought I felt it was kind of weird that she ain't have no words for Charlemagne. Cause Charlemagne interviewed him twice. Twice. Facts. And me too. Now granted, that's not his platform. Right. But I'm pretty sure, like, Charlamagne's a big enough name where he, he got some say-so of who he wants to interview or not. Because you see the third interview he came up there and did, he wasn't even there. Right. Like, I wonder what she got to say about well, that. I think like, that's because, rest in peace to uh, um to the bro, uh, Banger. I was, I was Troy Ad Bodyguard. He got killed in that night. Uh, rest in peace, Plaza. Banger. Yeah. Like, I think his brothers and them might have, I mean, allegedly, I don't know, I mean, he might have put a little pressure on Charlamagne behind the scenes, so Charlamagne removed his bald head ass right about that situation. I think he, I think he felt, I think he felt the pressure a little bit. Like, I think he felt like it was getting too, too much for him to be involved. Right. Now, I can understand that. Like, if it start getting too far and I'm like, yo, I don't even want to be in the middle of this no more. I'm pretty sure Nori probably won't do, a, like, another interview with him. And if it is, it probably wouldn't be on that capacity. But if it did numbers... What the? F- I'm not thinking about tax time when I'm making handling my business, bro. I ain't, hey, you right? Yeah, you I'm right. not. It's like it's like in the streets. It's like I see. I know them two got a problem. I'm not picking a side. I'm not jumping in. I'm minding my business. And you, I, I respect for y'all. I respect that I'm minding my business. Like, so I ain't got nothing to do with you. I ain't got nothing to do with him. This how I'm conducting business. I respect how I'm conducting business. Period. Nah, that's, 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 that's about right. That's about right. But that's like I was like I don't know you like that, bro. Like for one, like I it mean, ain't we, the street we, too, yeah, so. we we just we had a conversation in the past and or whatever it was. We 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 mentioned the idea to me. Cool, I appreciate that, bro. But don't say be coming in and stopping me from interview. Because if you was somebody that be for me, you would that good in the business for you. You gonna do it? Yeah. You ain't gonna think twice about it. You gonna get your check and keep it moving. And fuck how I feel. Uh, that's a fact. That's how yeah. I feel. I feel like, especially when you're in a space where we not in the streets. If you're in a space like this, you're not in the streets. You you actually yeah. a journalist. You actually running a business. I I, th- I don't think street rules should apply in that in that effect. Like. That's like right now, we get somebody right now like, yo, man, this nigga, he he, he told on 100 people or he he, he a wrist and a third, but he got a good ass story. He going to do the interview. We going to interview that man because it's, it's money, it's a check. For, I mean, it's, 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 but it's his side of the story. You got to get both yeah. sides of the story and you can go ahead and get the other party. Right. I think that's just good journalism when you get both sides of the story. Right. But um, speaking of both sides of the story, who saw the Malik, the uh, Malik Yoba? Ah, oh, <laughs> mm. oh, good God! Ah, <laughs> oh, man, wasn't that your favorite hey, show growing up? Hell un- undercover? No. Hell no! I never liked it, that shit, <laughs> man. I never liked the New York Undercover. Nah, that was the way for the nineties, man. You 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 watch New York Undercover? No, sir. My grandmother used to watch it. And and the only, Yo, the only on. shows I not not to cut you off, <laughs> but please <laughs> tell me y'all seen that interview he did with the uh the, with dude, the, from black the dude from yeah, the roof. Yeah, I swear yeah, to God, please. It. Hey, matter of fact, can bro uh pull that up right there, please, <laughs> play that, please. Huh? The Malik Yoba in it. Malik, Malik Yoba in the versus <laughs> the interview from the root or something. I forgot the guy's name, John. But that interview right there, man, your man flipped out on that joint, like man. Malik <laughs> Yoba. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what's going on. All right. He um. He trans attracted. That's the word he used. <laughs> trans attracted. That that's a new term. Trans attracted. He probably tried to put a new uh, saying on it. Nah, he oh, tried to put a new saying. He probably he tried to. <laughs> he yeah, he trying to like. But it keeps stick his feet in people, the water. Yeah, people been saying a little stuff about bro like that. He been like, I mean, mm-hmm. I think something it's three was o'clock about in the morning. Come, I think man. something. I think something was about to come out down in the pipeline about. About and him, and he, he just got in front of it, like, 
and brought it yeah. out of show. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, exactly. Like somebody was about to, like, yo, somebody probably tried to blackmail him for some money and said, because I heard his pictures out there of him dressed in drag and all that. Here, go right here. Check it out. Say, oh, come on, you holding his hands. Like, let me get my hands apart. Check it out. Check it out. Take my hands apart now. Watch what prompted you to make this uh, Instagram post? Fast forward a little bit where he he he, um, he, he, where he walks out. Go all the way I to knew the that, end. Um, if y'all want to see it, y'all can just go watch um, it. A workshop. Negative. There we sat for four fucking hours. We sat for four hours. Back up a little bit, though, just see, like, before, uh, yeah, like, right before he got crazy. Yeah. One more, one more. Okay, so, going on to what he He keeps asking about allegations. Nigga, like LeBron a little bit away with that hat on and shit. And focusing on your attraction as opposed to. Uh, their issues and see, look, he mad about proving that you're ready to do the work. So, what would you say to that? So, you and I sat for four hours the other day, correct? And we decided how we were going to approach this. Not that we, we, we went through what we, 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 we decided how we were going to approach this, bro. He set him up. He tried to coach him, him on how, <laughs> how we were going to do it. He set him up. Nah, get out of here. And the more you talk, the better, the worse it looks. They're going to try to drink a cup of tea like he's a gentleman. We're having a you say? I said, the more that we're Look, talking, I'm about to smack the shot. <laughs> 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 I said that the more that it looks bad for you. That's really? what I'm saying. Yes, sir. This looks bad for me. Yes, because Check I'm, I'm podcast. Really no, no, no. We're done, bro. Okay. We're done. Bad for me. He gets mad and walks out. Hold on. Cut, the, cut this right quick. If they want to watch this, they're going to have to go and, and check it out. But he... He basically storms off because he's mad people asking him questions about uh, allegations about <laughs> being trans attracted and all that. <laughs> like, how do you feel? How, how do you feel about this whole thing going on right now? Now, to be honest with you, man, I ain't really got no dog in that fight, man. I mean, Malik, you, you like trans, you like trans, bro. I mean, God bless you, bro. You feel me? But you ain't like you, I mean, you, you coming out in the open. I just don't like when people be lying about that shit and be, be still trying to run around and sleep with regular girls and all that type of shit like that. Like, so, uh, God bless you, bro. I mean, how you spend your Saturday night, your three o'clock in the morning, there's nobody business but yours, bro. <laughs> well, my whole thing is, I think, I think, uh, trans, I'm not even sure the right term, trans people, women. I, I, I don't, I don't want to be easy, disrespectful. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, because I don't know the right term. <laughs> Shit will be flying. I, mean, I do will not know right to let's just say I I think they uh want straight straight black men to accept it so that the ones who who are attracted to them could feel comfortable and and like you feel what I'm saying? Mm. Would you would you accept a family member that brought home that said they was like trans attracted? Like Aunt Derek and I mean his friend in the hot room and shit. I'm talking to you. Would you? I just wanted them to see my man. But you said if, if one of my family members. Yeah, like like a. a, a <coughs> it depends on which that, family member. Like like it like. Depends on if I'm close to him. Yeah, a close cousin, like a real family member, like somebody that you uh, the guy with the guitar that you used to be coming through. From down no, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. He's talking about Aaron. Shout out to Aaron. This Shout out to Aaron. I forgot all about him. What if he says... His mother watching this, too. <laughs> what if he can... <laughs> Say, nah, but... Um, Aaron, a wild boy. No, I'm saying, boy. you know, that should have had me mad, but at the end of the day, man, you know, we all grown, man. You went to what you went to. Yeah, well... There's no O ain't coming to none of them type of parties. <laughs> It hurt my heart. It hurt my heart if it was like like a little brother or something. But my cousins, it'd be like, you know, family switch up so much during the seasons, man. It'd be like, Where you know, that's what you went to. Though. I mean, I ain't got no, um, I ain't got nothing against you. If that's what you went to. All right, but look, let's get off of that for we do get flagged. I want to get into thank a you, game of, you, of would you rather. This is for both of y'all, for me too. We gonna hit. Would you rather date a stripper? Or, mm. no, 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 hold on, hold on. Would you rather date a porn star mm. or, no, nah, because that'd be too easy. I'd pick the stripper. Or Duh. a female escort in Las Vegas, like a bunny ranch type. That's the same thing. Nah. It's just from a porn just, star? No, porn star's on camera, though. Bunny ranch on camera? Nah, not on it camera. Is? That shit. They on HBO. 
But I'm, I, I'm talking about you don't gotta be up there. Though. That's like like porn. That shit gonna be on, in, on, <laughs> I mean, on in Brazil. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> or some nigga looking at that shit in his phone in Brazil. Like, I mean, like so what would you uh, rather? A porn star or, or, or I gotta a escort? One. Yeah. This is would you rather you gotta choose one? Is he, she's a escort in Las Vegas, which means she getting hot top dollar. And it's legal. Legal. She getting top dollar. Oh, um. I'm gonna let Queasy answer that first. Like she fucking Mayweather's entourage. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I ain't gonna hold you. I think I'd rather her be a. Uh, that's cool. I don't know shit. Like that's like between the take between one a bullet in the head, the less two or, or, yeah, or the one in the heart. Like it's like <laughs> either way you up out here. Like either way that shit ain't right. But I'll say if I had to pick though, I say I'd rather do porn and shit like that. Like I mean, you it's only the a porn star. Yeah, that's like that's like the less. The less exposure, I say, like reason why it's like I mean, it's only it's, I mean, porn people really is though, like though, but not the bunny ranch. I mean, yeah, motherfucker be in the country for three days, and he going to the bunny ranch, and I mean, somewhere, somewhere. hitting some Japanese dude and all this. All, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they go, oh, he over on business but, but, and shit. But but, he, but, the, but the porn, but the porn star, she, that's gonna be on camera forever. Man, you gonna yeah, fuck around? Yeah. Have, you fuck around? Have kids with her? Nah, see that right there, we ain't doing. You gonna be on the pill. Oh girl and just a- had a baby. Oh. oh. Oh girl, uh, the porn star Kiki with the long tongue. Oh. Yeah, <clears> she <throat> had a baby by some dude. Look, he looked like a rapper type dude. He oh, not so a rapper though. He probably wanted to put one in there though. Yeah, you know, of niggas, course, niggas, niggas be saying, trying to trap chicks too, especially chicks get a little bag and shit. Niggas be trying to trap them too. She's. I'm saying like, I mean, it's more power to him. He better man than me. I probably couldn't do it. But what about Ain't- you, porn star escort? I'm gonna run with the escort, man. You run escort. with the escort. Yeah, Eddie B, come up. Eddie B got a hundred dollars. He's gonna hit your girl. That's this. No, no, no. This is Vegas. This top you know, dollar. This top dollar. Nah, you know how much they cost down there. Yeah, this top dollar. She, Eddie, she, Eddie B, ain't, and then that don't mean she got to take Eddie B money. Right? Shout out to Eddie, Eddie B too. Shout out to Eddie B too. Shout out to Eddie B. Yeah, we ain't trying to play Eddie B. That's my boy. Eddie B ain't gonna never give you another tune up on the car again. Yeah, nah, but she ain't got to take the money from the nigga depending on how he look. Man, she be like, no, I'm good. But she's a hot price ho. She she really That's what like. I'm there you go. You got a nigga like Charlie just because Eddie B. Eddie B. Might be cleaner than Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen walk away to been a bunny man and he'd be hit by five of them bitches. Like you feel me? I mean, you know Charlie Sheen ain't right. Bro, you think? I yeah, mean, I ain't think that nigga that. that nigga sleep with everything. Trans dudes, but don't chicks, they, but don't like they, it all. But don't uh, don't escorts don't they like use protection? I mean, I yeah, would guess so. They definitely do. I would pick it. I would pick the escort. I'm gonna tell you why. I don't think that porn. That many porn stars compared to Esco. But the clientele base is enormous compared to, like, I mean. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that could be, I mean, you, I'm talking about she might work with one dude and do a scene about over three days or whatever. Or like four dudes would do a scene over four days. But the old girl, she. But a, she can't keep doing the, the scene with the same dude. No, nah, I'm saying, Can of course you? not. But I'm talking about how many, what's the ratio compared to escorts? I mean, people that hit escorts and people that do porn. Now nah, you're right. I don't think regular, ain't, ain't too many, like, you. Excuse me. It's going to be a uh, another porn star with your girl. But at the same time, they're getting nailed regardless. So. Yeah, it's going to be a rough one. I mean, now it's going to be a rough one for you. The thing with porn, they ain't got to wear condoms. That nigga be skeeting all on her face. Yeah, yeah, but they get... <sighs> see, the only reason I said I picked the escort is because... You protection, but the point you gonna be like, I'm I'm thinking like this is my girl. I'm I'm planning the future with this girl, like, <clears> and that shit is gonna be on camera forever. <clears throat> nah, but see, you can't be in them situations planning no future with them. Type. That should be for the no, moment. No, I ain't gonna but that is the would you rather, motherfucker? You had to plan to, this, this. This is your girl. Yeah, if I had, if I had to pick. I'll take, take the porn star, man. So you gotta be a different type of dude dealing with chicks like that. That's yeah. like niggas that be into pimping and shit. Like you gotta be a different type of. You can't I mean, walk. You can't walk into that. W- and you can't walk into a situation like that. He fell. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's <laughs> just nothing. I mean, <laughs> he fell. Shout out my baby. See, I mean, see, I, mean I, see, I think I told you we talked about this. See, I think we talked about this. Shout like, out to uh, uh, what's her name, Sunshine. What's her name? Uh, uh, what's summer. The, summer. Yeah, summer. Yeah, yeah, summer. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Summer. Summer, summer in man. Miami. Last time I seen Summer too, I was in the county too on some bullshit, and um, she was in the county. I, I know what she was there for, but I, I was on a little weed charge. What the fuck she was in there for? Listening. I bet you. One and nine. Like I, I, I tried my hand at um, truck stops like, and listening. This, this was years ago. This was years ago. We <laughs> passed like t- two thousand nine yeah, or shit like that. Past statute oh, yeah. limitations. Yeah, but I, I tried my little hand at. I mean, um, <clears throat> I mean, uh, 
in the pimp game. Yeah, the yeah. oldest oldest to business to in the world, I mean. And uh, I couldn't do it because I, you know, I, I tried to leave. I was all loose with my loose with my uh, hoes or whatever. Was I said. supposed to be the assistant pimp? I don't know. Was I, I just loose with the product? <laughs> yeah, I, um, I, I I had the girl. I mean, I I, I, I found some people that she that wanted. To, I mean, pay for her services or whatever. And, um, <laughs> but how did you? I, I had my own, how other did you know she? That, but hold, first of all, how did you even know she was with that? Um, we just a conversation. Yeah, yeah, we we was talking to John. Um, I think I met a date by by Parker or something like that. And she um she just started talking about, oh yeah, I do this, do that. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I oh, definitely. What I, did she say though? She said she, she, she like uh she nah, she, she was like she I'll pay she for y'all. She like nah, I'll she, pay for y'all security and shit. Remember? Nah, she said she pay us. She pay us to do our security, like to watch her watch her back while she go out of hotels and shit oh, like that. Oh, okay. like, so she was already into that. Yeah, she yeah, be, like she, she was already into it. But she had a she had a pimp, some old head dude that turned out or whatever. Like um. He turned out whatever he, he she broke up with whatever reason they broke up he started she stopped messing with him but she just need somebody to watch her back while she work whatever. So I mean I'm just coming home at this time like I mean fresh up a three piece and shit I'm just trying to get my, my couple dollars together <laughs> up like that like that so it sounded like a good idea and I mean and she started telling some numbers but I had other stuff going on at the time I had to, I mean run around go do this run around do that Lord. so 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 you tried to. You had other stuff going on. Yeah, and I, I and dropped you off. You dropped off. Yeah, to, to, uh, some people I knew that was going to pay for her services or whatever. <laughs> and my <laughs> time called back. She talking about, yeah, talking about, uh, thing. yeah, kid, like, she's like, oh, she's staying. She talking about, uh, she's staying. I'm like, she's staying. I'm like, <laughs> she's staying. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yo, word is born. I'm like, see, I, I fucked up. I posted, got them. I posted it all. I like, stayed right with her. But I didn't know none of this at the time. Though. That chick well, had got no, the money from her. Yeah, that chick well, had no love to you. Oh, that's crazy, but well, I ain't never. And that was my last. That was my only one I ever had. That trying to be a pimp, man. I shouldn't. I, mean, I never. I mean, I netted zero dollars from it. I mean, yeah, the pimp game ain't easy. Yeah, that's definitely ain't. They I, say I pimping ain't them, easy. Man. Don't they? That's the whole. That's the whole mantra. Pimping ooh, ain't ooh. easy. See, baby, I love you, baby. But look, man, see, this was this years. was a long time ago. Yeah, ten years ago. See, this is before she was born, right? Nah, hell no, man. <laughs> I'm talking about baby girl. Yeah, kid. nah. I think you're talking about my daughter. Yeah, <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, this is before baby girl was born, too. Shout out to Yari, too. Yeah, this is before yeah. she was born. You my good. baby Cece and shit. That's my girl and shit. Oh, all right, yeah. She mm. good. This was a long time yeah. ago, man. Long time ago, man. At least your, your girl should want should know that you had some type of uh, adventure in you, in your past. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I mean. <laughs> some type of, but look, but I want to get to ghostwriting, right? Because... I want to know how y'all feel about ghostwriting and rap, particularly rap. Like, do you feel it's okay today to um have a ghostwriter write your raps? I'm putting mm. emphasis on on rap, hip hop, because a lot of people try to say, "Oh, well, Beyonce get people to write her her songs and stuff like that." How you feel about that? Man, to me, honestly, I I'm just, it depends on what type of rap it is. Like, if you a rapper, like. We a rapper like that. Time I got a hundred bars or something like that. I'm, I, like on some shit like that. Like one of them type of rappers like like a freestyle for days like that type of shit like that. Like I don't think you should have nobody writing your raps and shit like that. Like, but what if you just say? But but what if you say in your raps that you like that you you talk that shit like yo I'm the best type shit like like how Drake do? I'm Drake. Drake really like. Uh, I can see. I can, that's what lame for him. He not a nigga like I got bars and shit like that. He not like that but type he of talk nigga shit. Like that. He said, "What do you say?" I'm here for the billies and the bucks, some shit like that. Like he don't make me kill one of the goats for it. Like he talking shit. Like he one of the greatest of all time. Yeah, but man, you know you gonna feel like that though. You gonna just talking shit because he definitely on top of the game right now. As far as like, uh, I know, I know. O don't care about it. Oh, he don't care about goats playing. <laughs> o, o only listen to as long as the money coming in. But you oh. only listen to rappers with with one syllable words. Yeah, they ghost right at eighth, eighth grade and shit like that. Like he get this shit ghost wrote from from his son and shit. But, no, I'm um, saying, I'm saying, depending on, um, cause don't don't try to uh, don't try to speak some shit that's coming from you, but it ain't from you. That's like the Plaza situation. Plaza, Plaza yeah. don't write his music. No, I'm just talking about like far as him talking about some shit that wasn't. Oh, uh, like was it wasn't like, from him? Well, Forty Glock and I'm gonna see you talking yeah, about. Yeah, wasn't from him. But you see, we, the shit he doing now, it seems like it's more him, like the funny type thing he do. And all that It seemed like it's more him Before the whole goon shit He was doing It ain't yeah. seemed like It was for him But I think Ghost Rider Lies had the streets For a minute though I ain't gonna hold you He definitely had it like, like, Yeah uh, For a little minute and shit Like <coughs> I think like 09 I think like the 010 I think bro was like, he, That's probably He's at his peak right there 08, 09 And shit like that But the um, Ghost writing for For R&B Is totally different Than, than rap To me 
Because to be a singer, you actually have to have talent. You actually have to sing. Like, or have a voice so and shit. Somebody can write it, but you have to actually sing that. Like, you actually have to hit the notes and shit like that. Rap, you still have to deliver it in the studio, but it's a little different. You, 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 you don't need a voice to, to rap. Like, like, you can actually create a voice. You feel what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, singing, you have to have a voice. Like, but fuck all that. I want to talk about Cassidy versus Arsenal. <clears throat> I'm, I'm saying Arsenal, man. Cassidy at that last one. I wasn't impressed with Cassidy at all. I think Cassidy kind of like uh, he got a, he, he 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 arrogant for no reason right now. He just he really got that man embarrassed him last time on the stage. And Did you see the face off? What? Uh, nah, I didn't see that with the face off. You ain't see the face off? Yeah, I gotta see that. But they battled them all, and that's gonna be a pay per view too, right? Yeah, it's gonna be on pay per view, but if you got the app, they, they they dropped the battle probably like a couple of weeks after. But um, in the face off, Arsenal said something that's um that's real interesting. He was like, "Yo, nobody from my city ever disrespected me. No legend, no rapper, no new nigga. Nobody ever like publicly disrespected him. And like Cassidy, you got people like all the prominent people in his city, like especially Gilly the Kid." Disrespecting him. Disrespecting him in your city. And now yeah, you Kyle's have a battle. Down, man. But he got a battle in Philly. Like, I don't know how that's going to work out for him. Like, he 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 looked real excited and real confident. But he just, guys just get money right now. He, he's eventually, you know what I mean? Especially if he lose this time right now, bro. It's like he with Gilly, you sitting there start arguing with the crowd to him, how y'all booing us? But Gilly say y'all y'all booing the hardest shit, the best shit y'all ever heard. The, the like, best shit that I ever heard by man like, and all that. Like, he like obviously they ain't think so, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that shit, Gilly. Gilly funny as hell too, bro. That I shit God, was, like that shit was ass, man. Like he 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 bombed on that shit. Like yeah, he embarrassed himself, man. He definitely embarrassed himself, but I don't know. I kind of hope he redeem himself. Like I want to see him. I, I actually want to see him do good. But them bars he got now, them shits ain't the same no more. Like, you can't rap like that no more. Like, it's like now battle rap is like a nigga talking to you. He breaking you down. Like, yeah, that's yeah, what battle yeah, rap yeah, is yeah. right now. Like, you can't be it's real personal. just his spitting generic bars and shit like that. Just making shit rhyme. Everybody want to hear that shit. Like, that shit going over nigga here. You going to forget it. But you start breaking it down and, and making that shit for that one person. Like, niggas going to feel you. That's like, why. That's how you always win. Because back in the day, they the way they used to battle, like, yeah, a motherfucker write 15 raps and have all them memorized in his head. So when you go outside and you battle somebody... I could battle you with them 15 raps. I could go up the street, battle him with them 15 raps, go down the block, battle him. But now it's not like that. We on the stage. Now, if I'm battling you, I know three months in advance, and I, my, my rounds are directly aimed at you. Right. He right. He's still not really doing that. Like, he throwing, I don't know how you going to do this tomorrow, but he's right. still doing generic bars and shit, Cassidy man. Cassidy's losing that one. I'm going to keep it under with you. Cassidy going to lose that one, like, man. And then not just because we from Newark and Arsenal from Newark and shit. Whatever, nah, but, not at all. Yeah, shit. But Cassidy's losing that one tomorrow, man. Shit. And I'm going to keep it honest with you. I always say between Surf and, and, and Arsenal, the best two uh, battle rappers we got. But I always think um, Surf the homie and everything. But yeah, I'm going to go with Arsenal. Arsenal got the, the, got the battle shit, though. Like, I think Arsenal the best one. Like, that nigga got bars out of this. Why nigga be saying some crazy shit? Ain't be super disrespectful with the crazy shit, like, though. Like, yeah, that's crazy. The, um, now surf surf got bars and shit too, but like, I just think Arsenal shit like a little more. It's a little more, a little bit you more. You like so, so you like. like you like Arsenal more than surf. I'm saying music wise, song, surf make better songs, but like once if I, I'm picking what's a battle with shit, I'm gonna say it's, uh, Arsenal. Arsenal definitely got surf. Like I don't know. I like surf. I like I like surf. Better surf than got it though. Surf ain't no ain't no slouch. Definitely ain't no slouch though. But like if I had to pick though, I, I'm gonna say Arsenal shit though. Who went out of them too? I say Arsenal. Arsenal and sir. Yeah, I'm gonna say Arsenal and shit. Your man just be <laughs> rapping fire with the, with his shit like though. You talking about Fars Battle? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm talking about actually seeing actually seeing um Arsenal like really like wash niggas up like in that battle shit though like those so I embarrassing them like those. Huh? Yeah, but I seen him lose bad too. Like especially Ooh. the Hitman Holler. This is a while ago. I'm about to say, I ain't see that one. This like was that. a while ago. Like he lost bad. I haven't seen. I seen Surf lose to Charlie Clips before. Murder Mook and um. And the Arsenal would be a good one too. That'd be a dope ass battle. Yeah. I ain't watched battle one in so long since Smack, Smack DVDs. DVDs and shit, yeah. Who party already and all them? 
That's what introduced um, niggas to the battle. Murder, murder, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Uncle Murder. Not Uncle Murder. Um, what's the other Loaded one? Lux. Loaded Lux. Yeah, him. Um, he used to be so many niggas. Jay, uh, Jay Mills. Jay Mills. Um, Shout out. He came back, too. Have you seen his latest battle? Yeah, Jay Mills got cooked, too, man. He got cooked, too. He got cooked, too. All man. these old, old dudes niggas is getting cooked. Be, these young niggas. Is, what uh, industry rapper do you think could go to battle rap and, and Pat actually? Pat You think so? Pat Poos. Hands down. Pat. Pat the Flame, niggas, man. I swear I want to see that boy up there for Fab. Me. That's what I was thinking. But Kiss. Fab. Fab, don't, I don't think he, he, he aggressive it. enough. Yeah, Fab ain't got it. I'm just talking about far as slick with them words. Yeah, but, but up there, it, they, they up there, they touching you. They, yeah. they they screaming in your face. Yeah. I don't think F- Fab too a little too cool for that. And we already got one nigga like that. The nigga Goods who battled Cassidy, he he like that, like on some smooth shit. Line, see, yeah. I don't, I don't think that'll work. I think Kiss will work, though. Well, Kiss nasty. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. It ain't really too many battle rapper type rappers, though. Yeah. But... Uh, I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you though. Which we call it? Uh, pa- pa- how many albums Papoose got, man? I need that motherfucker uh, rap his ass. How many albums bro got out? Papoose, I'm not sure. We gonna we we gonna get to that. Uh, Pap definitely. I'm talking about that motherfucker for him to be able to rap like that. Though I'm talking about the status he, he got that though. Brooklyn, that's what? So Brooklyn that's, he had the best verse on that so Brooklyn beat. Like you think so? I think uh, I had the best nah, verse on that so say. Brooklyn shit, and that's just not me being. Nah, you supposed to, me. you supposed to say, I ain't hear you on it, but you supposed to say that. You ain't hear that shit. I'm gonna nah, play it for you later. Okoop, Okoop did his thing on there. Yeah. He did. I think he could have rapped longer though. Yeah, Okoop yeah, just was too short. He just really was too short. Shout out to Shout Okoop, man. Right. Mm-hmm. Poop's oh, got, got three th- albums. Hey, that's it. How many nah, Remy he got? He got a lot of mixtapes. Yeah, he, he got, got a lot of mixtapes. That's mixtapes. what it is. I think Remy only got one studio album, not including the um, own. Nah, you can't Pop say that one. Studio album? I think she got one. She from back in the day, man. I know she got more than one. Nah, but see, rappers, some, she went got. to jail. Them, them albums don't really be hard, like, to be hard to put out. Cause you got to get clearances on them beats mm-hmm. and all that. That should be, that should be taking a little price. Why don't be niggas going to be having too many unless you really established. Like, yeah. so no, I'm how, just saying, I know she got more than one, though. But see, Diddy killed them with the samples before people got up on, like, yo, I could charge an arm and a leg for these samples. Like, mm-hmm. See, she got hey, one man. album. Yeah, hey, right. I was rude. I was... She oh, got the first Terror Squad and then the Plato Pat, Plomo with Fat, Fat Joe. Joe. Yeah. But look, man. All right. Citizens of High Society Podcast. We're going to wrap up this episode today. Um, we changed the format up a little bit. We're going to do one hour shows from now on. But we will be with you every week. Right. So you already know, man. It's High Society Podcast. I go by b We got motherfucking Queasy. And we got my man O here, special guest today, man. Yo, I appreciate y'all, man. Next episode. Next week. See you next week, man. Rest in peace, next to the more. Rest in peace, I ain't scared of shit. I just sit back in my room.